Welcome to CompuEarth web series. In today's short video, I will be giving you information about file policies in CompuEarth. You could create file policies such that your data complies with internal IT governance rules or such that the data in your cluster is moved between different nodes which are divided into different tiers based upon your requirements. In this video, I will show you how you could move your data between the different tiers of your storage cluster. So if you go to the maintenance tab of my cluster named Computer Demo, you will see that my nodes are divided into two tiers, tier 0 and tier 1. Now I will be creating file policies such that my data would move from tier 0 to tier 1 when the file policy is activated. To do this, go to your file system tab, browse to the location of the folder on which you want to make the file policy, right click on this and select add file policy. This will open up a window towards the right where you can configure your policy. You will see here that there are a couple of parameters through which you could customize your file policy. The first one of this is patterns. Upon checking this option, you could filter the data patterns on which your file policies are applied. For example, you could choose for your file policies only to be applied on JPG, PNG or any other picture formats of files. If you leave this unchecked, your file policy will be applied on all forms of data that is present on your cluster. The second option that you have is the age. When you select the age, for example, when I make it two months, the file policy will be applied on all data that is older than two months or that is older than the particular age that you choose. Once you've chosen your filters, you have a couple of actions that you could carry out through file policies. The first one being file encoding. This allows you to choose the file encoding with which your new data could be stored in tier 1. The tier option allows you to choose to which tier you would like to move your data. The next options you have are retention and warm. These options help you to comply with strict data retention regulations and internal IT governance rules. The retention determines how old of a file you could have on your storage cluster. For example, when I set the retention to be 2 months, all files that are older than this age would be automatically deleted by CompuWord. The next option you have is Warm. Write once, read many. Once you set this option, and let's say for example configure it to 1 minute, all data that is written to your cluster and is older than 1 minute will now be made into read-only files, hence restricting the write access for users of this cluster. Through retention and warm, you could configure file policies depending on the data retention policies of your company. Similarly, you can use a combination of actions and filters to create file policies such that they meet your requirements. Hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching.